What's up guys, Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance, hanging with Brandon in Envision Landscape Solutions. Check it out, we're doing another day of overseeding, aerating. We got tons of stuff on the calendar today. Uh, we got about 10 or 12 aeration overseeds for both of us. It's gonna be a pretty profitable day. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the uh, the aerator setup. We're using Brandon's trailer just so we don't have to lug mine around. Look at all the extra seat Brandon's wasting. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Anyway, here's the stud. Here's the man of the hour. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? Good. I said we're going to be doing all of our aeration overseedings. And uh, how many have we already done? Five or six? Six. Yeah, not too bad, right? In what, two hours? Six and two hours. So we're doing all of Brandon's first. Uh, he's gonna be making uh, some good money, some good profit. And uh, by the way, I appreciate all you guys that watched the video before with all the pricing on seed and how to do uh, aeration with Brandon and how to do the overseeding with Mike. Two really good videos, uh, great resources for you guys. A lot of you guys have been uh, shooting me messages on DM and Instagram talking about renting stand on aerators and walk behind aerators and uh, putting more money in your pocket. Like that's literally what it's all about. So. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna tool over to the next property. We gotta keep the train moving. A lot going on today. I gotta run the discount tire. I gotta uh, change one of my tires. It's bald, it's flat, and uh, just it never ends, man. Always something to do, right? Yes, sir. So, how's aeration overseed to making some money? Good, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good day to do it. You yeah. Know? One of the last price, 65 degrees, sunny, beautiful days in Michigan. Yeah. It went well, from, it went it's from, gonna go down from hill from here. Oh, it's gonna be wet and cold and rainy. Oh, yeah, totally. Can't wait. So, all right, guys, we'll catch up with you guys at the next property. See you guys. All right, so quick little intermission. We gotta go to site one. Uh, Angelo's, we got some more grass seed. And uh, so you're ripping on me because I put some grass seed in one of the beds. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of good though because, you know, it's like job security in a sense. Next year in the spring, we, yeah. Uh, when you're kind of slowing up and you're looking for some extra work, you can go and do some weeding. So, I mean, it makes sense. That's kind of what I do. Is such I, put, a dick. I put about a pound of, of seed through the beds. Yeah. And uh, I, I made one little, I was going through one pass. I was talking to a customer. I was moving the property along. And uh, the I did, first one he does, we'll say that. Yeah. Well, that's true. I was a little rusty. And I put, I put like one little well, spray you pattern. Know, you don't know that spreader yet. Yeah. I've only done four or five. The settings and what it, yeah. yeah. So I put a little bit of grass seed in one of his landscape beds. I said, dude, I'm just trying to help you out for next year, man. Help you out with some weeding and get some extra services. He's like, as a guy, <laughs> literally just told me he's like you see those four bags right there we just got done weeding and I'm like Brian <laughs> <laughs> I'm a newbie I'm a rookie no all right we gotta go to Angelo's site one grab some more bags of uh, grass I gotta get a bag for myself I got three over seatings and I got a half bag left over in my trailer so those three should be good for the three seatings I have so maybe kind of like rule of thumb too like as we're going through and doing this while we're uh, discussing the aeration overseeds um, kind of like a rule of thumb is maybe um, like once you learn your spreader but you still got to always like pay attention see where the seeds broadcasting to and like my rule of thumbs basically stay like three four feet away from the beds um, this way you're not putting any seed in the beds and um, another thing too is we're kind of yeah right as we're kind of learning to going through um, every lot's different every property is different you know the square footage and how much uh, seed you gotta apply per lawn to get good results um, we're kind of figuring out right now for our properties um, so we pick up one bag of seed is 50 pounds it's kind of 25 pounds per property that we're applying and putting down yeah it's pretty good rule of thumb so far yeah I mean we're still learning we're still making sure we have the right rate that we're putting down too but just some property square footage are different. It's a little different than like when you bid in aeration. You're like, oh, right. blanket 50 bucks, blanket mm -hmm. 75 bucks. But seed, I mean, you have to cover. So you have yeah. to make sure you're putting it well, down. Well, it's good quality seed too, and that's the thing people don't get is, you know, this stuff's expensive. Yeah, how much like, are you guys paying for seed, by the way? Like, oh, right here on the left. Uh, how much are you guys paying for seed? I want to know across the country. If you guys want, leave me a comment down below with how much is your seed and we're at in the country. 127.50. Like, that stuff's not cheap, man. Jeez, old Pete's. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you at site one. All right, so we're here at site one, Angelo's. Trying to get some seed. And Look at this though, in the spring, this stuff was all full of like pavers, wall blocks, stuff like that, and now everything's clearing out. Right. And now, oh, you can't see over here, but they got all the spread, the salt spreaders out, all the flowers. Yeah, plows, uh, they're like 20 salt dog spreaders Right, over there. they're getting ready, they're prepared. It's coming, and then you got the silo. The silo all the way over there. So I don't know what one thing I was curious if uh, you guys want to see a site one video maybe uh, sometime next spring so I can give you guys a full walkthrough of like how to go through a yard, visit a yard, how to take the slip, go pay for it. Right, yeah. You know, a lot of you guys haven't really been to a yard and quite honestly I don't think I really well, it's a little intimidating to some guys coming to this big place, especially when it's busy, you know, it's yeah. it just cluster and it's like, well what do I do? Like through here, like you basically gotta wait in line, you right? Know, and right. It, well, it's different. And I don't think I really came here until two years ago. 
You know, I haven't been in yeah, business for eight, nine like years. Because right. well, yeah, I never no, did landscape. No need to be yeah, here, you know. I did lawn care. I didn't right. do any landscaping. So let me know if you guys want me to do a, a site one video. But do anyway, a little tour. A little tour. We got to find somebody to actually help us out. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> All right, guys. So Brandon is blown away that I paid 131 bucks. How much did you pay? Did you get the right seat? Yeah, I think my seat was only like a hundred. I wish I had the pockets like this guy, man, where he doesn't even look at the numbers anymore. He's like, yeah, man, we made $3 million. Right. I'm like, 131 bucks for a bag of seed, dude. Well, uh, do you have an account through that? Yeah. What did you pay? Dude, I, I don't know. I thought I paid 113. I don't know. No, you got dyslexia. Whatever. Because it's 131.25. Plus, I bought a Coke. Whatever. This video is not brought to you by Coke or Site One. Coke, whatever. All right, time to rock and roll. We got to go. Do a couple more of yours, a couple yep. of mine. Let's get to uh, the next property. All right, guys, really quick, we're on one of Brandon's jobs. I want to show you guys, whoa, it's really windy. I want to show you guys a little pro tip. So with the aerator, if you guys are still learning some of the basics, just like a lawnmower, we're going to outline the whole property uh, all the way around the beds, right? Do the whole deal, snake around all the way around. And then we're going to fill in the lines, kind of like back in the, you know third grade, we had the color inside the coloring book, inside the lines, smoke third grade. All right, so one thing I want to show you guys, though, is you want to kind of do this like loop with the aerator and kind of zigzag back and forth like that. So let me show you guys really quick on the camera what I'm talking about. If you can see, this whole area is really dark and this whole area is really light. Now, hopefully this is coming up on the camera for you guys. What I did is I outlined the whole property like this, did the whole deal, came back, did the whole uh, thing. And then, then I came through and made a loop towards the middle. Then I come back and I keep going on this property all the way. So that way what happens is I don't have to pick up the aeration tines at all. So where you lose time and where you lose money on aerations is even if it's a walk behind unit, picking those tines up, turning all the way around, planting back down, just like a zero turn, all the way down, all the way back, all the way down, all the way back. But with the sand on aerator or even the walk behind ones, if you make a loop like this and you just keep tracing your last line to your last line, then your last line to your last line, this line to that line, you never have to pick up the tines. You can make big loops. Now, subdivision lawns are a little bit tougher, like with they have small front yards, but when you have big properties like this, you can do stuff like that. You can save yourself some time, and then you can make more money, and then you can do the aeration overseed like Brandon's doing, and put more money in your bank. All right, cool, a little pro tip there. Just something that I learned along the way. I actually learned that one from True Green, so thanks, True Green. By the way, one thing I wanna tell you guys is make sure that you're strapping down the aerator, even if it's a walk-behind unit, lasso it you know to the front do a little loop through whatever you guys got to do but uh these guys right here they still bounce around even though they got a parking brick we try to secure them with bricks and then at least two down tie down points uh just to be safe brandon's putting it down a little extra thick over here got some bare spots as you guys can see but I think he's just getting rid of the last of his seed as well because after this, we're on the mine. All right, guys, so you saw how we did all of our aerations and seedings today. It was a pretty good time. Yeah. I, I think so. we added it up as almost two Gs in uh, aeration over seed. Yeah. And 1100 uh, ish your way, eight, 900 my way. Yeah. Can't be stuff like that. So, all right, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Let me know down below if you guys have been adding these aeration over seeds and check out these other videos over here. And, guys, we'll catch up with you soon. See you guys.